chief exec was on the radio this morning saying he really considered that was gone too far and maybe they've taken stock and they've thought, look, in order to be considered a legitimate, you know, um, part of the conversation, which is what we want to be, then we do need to be um, featuring presenters who who we feel we can trust to maybe be five degrees right of centre rather than 25 degrees. They're all falling out at, uh, at GB News, um, uh, <laughs> where various people have sided with... Um, uh, Dan Wooten, who was suspended after laughing along with Lawrence Fox's comments, who he was also suspended, uh, and now we've had another one as well. Well, hot, literally sprinting, sprinting from the Times newsroom with the very latest is Alex Farber, the Times' media correspondent. Where are we, Alex? So where we are now is it appears that Calvin Robinson, one of the other GB News' contributors, has also been suspended by the channel. Um, it's not clear what's behind that um, just at the moment. Um, Robinson um, posted a message... Um, a couple of days ago in, in, in following the remarks in which he um, seemed to defend the channel. Um, at the same time, he did also stand up for Dan Wooten and maybe the management had some issues with his position. Well, there was, I think it might have been because he posted a thing this morning saying he wouldn't be appearing on Dan Wooten tonight without Dan Wooten. Uh, uh, and then went on to basically attack uh, the careerist ambitious ones who are currently gunning for his job. Uh, these people are worse than the woke mob. There's all people at times at uh, GB News uh, because these these vultures are giving the mob ammunition and essentially escalating the channel's demise. Uh, GB News is more than a job. It's certainly more than a chance to be on the telly. It's a mission. Our bosses are scared, afraid of Ofcom, afraid of the woke mob, and afraid they're going to run out of money unless they manage to sort this advertising problem out. Standing up for Dan is standing up for the very idea of GB News. If he falls, we all fall. We're about to see if people really care about the project or they just want a better slot with a bigger team and better pay. And then uh, he followed that up uh, shortly afterwards with, I've been suspended from GB News. Yeah. It doesn't look good for um, <laughs> Dan Wooten, perhaps. Possibly not. And, and actually, there's some, some suggestion that, that it was partly because the, the, the production team on his show would try to get him to interv intervene on Lawrence Fox and and apologise for what he'd been saying about Ava Evans and have steady ignored them and laughed along. Yeah, that's my understanding of the situation, that the um, the gallery, the producers, the, the individuals that are behind the person produ fronting the show, as you know, Matt, are the ones pulling the strings, really. And, yeah, um, I don't do anything. And um, those guys were, were, were attempting to get um, Dan to challenge Lawrence Fox's remarks. Um, there was an attempt from them, my understanding is, for them to get him to apologise for them subsequently, um, and it seems that, that that those 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 calls were were ignored effectively. Yeah. Um, so, um, and so where does this go? Because it's interesting that the the it the GB News sort of built its initial success, if you like, on the slightly more excitable evening output. Whether it's Nigel Farage or uh, they had Mark Stein, but he 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 left under a cloud as well after being investigated by Ofcom. Uh, Dan Wooten too. Is this a sign that they're trying to? actually shift back towards what you'd probably call the centre rather than the sort of the extremist, shouty, uh, conspiracy theory, um, opinionated output that actually sort of put them on the map? It may well be. It may well be that they think that, you know, these comments from Fox, which Angelo, the chief exec, was on the radio this morning saying he really considered that was gone too far and maybe they've taken stock and they've thought, look, in order to be considered a legitimate, you know, um, part of the conversation, which is what we want to be, then we do need to be um, featuring presenters who who we feel we can trust to maybe be five degrees right of centre rather than 25 degrees.